hypertensive patient with low potassium, I hope you're thinking about primary hyperaldosteronism. Now normally, step won't make it this easy. You have to remember that people with primary hyperaldosteronism really don't just randomly have very low potassium levels, but they are extremely prone to have them if they take a diuretic. The symptoms for hypokalemia are muscle cramps and weakness, and I kind of remember this because when I played sports, I get muscles and cramps a lot, and my coach would yell, you need a banana because bananas have potassium. The reason why the patient has high blood pressure is because they have hypernatremia. Don't forget that the patient has low potassium, so it makes them metabolic alkalotic. This is because potassium depletion causes increased hydrogen secretion and hydrogen potassium ATPase activity. So again, low potassium levels causes metabolic alkalosis. Remember, primary aldosteronism patients do not have peripheral edema. The number one best test for a patient that you suspect having primary hyperaldosteronism is an early morning plasma aldosterone concentration to plasma renin activity ratio. Most just call this the aldosterone renin ratio. If it's over 20 and the aldosterone level is more than 50 nanograms per deciliter, this really suggests primary hyperaldosteronism and you can confirm this with adrenal suppression testing. You basically give the patient a lot of salt and you find out that the patient's still unable to suppress the aldosterone levels. After they have a positive adrenal suppression test, then you can undergo adrenal imaging with CT and by this point, you usually can see a bilateral adrenal hyperplasia. Around 60% of patients will end up having that and if CT is actually clean, you can do an adrenal vein sampling. And the reason why we do this because sometimes we want to differentiate whether or not the patient has hyperplasia or they have an adenoma. If the patient has hyperplasia, you do medical therapy and the patient has an adenoma, you want surgical excision. They love asking questions about this. A lot of patients may think the patient has Cushing syndrome. Take a step back. If the patient has central obesity, striae, proximal muscle weakness, glucose intolerance, and high blood pressure, then you do a dexamethasone suppression test. Some students might pick, let's do a 24-hour urinary potassium excretion test. No, this is an old test. We don't do this anymore. Now, someone could be thinking pheochromocytoma because of the hypertension itself, but remember, when these patients have hypertension, they have episodic headache and sweating and palpitations and tachycardia. Also, their lab test will not show that they have low potassium levels. To summarize everything, a patient has hypertension, hypokalemia, check the aldosterone renin ratio. If it's normal, you evaluate for other causes. If it's elevated, adrenal suppression tests.